Hi, I'm Luigi Groton, Vice President of Nutrition Education and Development at Herbalife. As most of you already understand, the glycemic index, or GI, is a measurement that ranks foods by their effects on blood sugar. When you eat foods that contain carbohydrates, the starches and sugars they contain are converted into a sugar called glucose, which is released into the blood, causing a rise in the blood sugar. This glucose in your blood is important. It's the primary fuel for your brain and muscles and is in large part what keeps you going mentally and physically throughout the day. The glycemic index scale is from 1 to 100, which can be broken down into three categories based on how quickly they raise sugar levels after eating. But not all foods causing your blood sugar to rise to the same degree, and this is where the glycemic index comes in. Now, you've already heard from Dr. Heber and Susan Bowerman on what kind of foods fall under low, medium, and high GI food categorization. A low GI diet may help support your weight management. It can also delay hunger that may occur in between meals, promote short-term satiety, and supports weight management in overweight and obese individuals. A low GI diet may help provide sustainable energy and keeps you feeling fuller longer. A low GI diet may help support blood sugar management within a healthy range. Low GI foods are digested more slowly, producing a gradual rise in blood sugar levels. They also help to minimize fluctuations in blood sugar levels. In addition, a low GI diet can help support cardiovascular health. Now that you understand the reasons behind incorporating low GI foods in your diet, what you also should know is how various protein, carbs, and fats make an impact on your food style. The reason the Herbalife Formula One shake actually helps is because it has these healthy ingredients in it to provide you with the best nutrition. Now let's talk about protein. Protein can come from animal sources like meats, fish, poultry, eggs, milk, and milk products. Or it can come from plant sources like soybeans, beans, lentils, nuts, and whole grains. While the animal-derived protein contains all the essential amino acids necessary for the body to manufacture its own proteins, these sources of protein also contain more saturated fats relative to the plant protein sources. Soy is one of the few complete proteins in the entire plant world. Soybeans are also low in saturated fat and, like all plant foods, are naturally cholesterol-free. Soybeans also offer calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, B vitamins, along with omega-3 fats. Check where most of your carbohydrates come from. Example, rice, noodles, breads, cereals, and potatoes. Aim to swap the high GI foods with lower GI alternatives at every meal. While fats and oils often get a bad rep for contributing to obesity and raised cholesterol levels, healthy, unsaturated fats are sources of essential fatty acids, including the omega-3 fats. These are necessary to maintain life and they can help to promote heart health as well. The foods that contain heart-healthy fats include nuts and seeds, olives and olive oil, seafood and avocados. Should be very low GI foods and fats should be unsaturated. So, now you understand the necessity of various proteins, carbs, and fats in your food that play a major role in your well-being.